Aptra Motors, the California-based company known for its three-wheeled electric vehicle that first appeared on the scene in 2006, over the past 18 years has experienced a tumultuous journey marked by bankruptcies and changes in ownership. In 2019, co-founders Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony regained control of the company. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this content, please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you. Let's get going. Throughout this period, various powertrain versions of the three-wheeler have been introduced, with the latest general concept revealed in 2020 in the final product debuting early last year. This vehicle is a battery electric trike featuring a composite body and 700 watts of solar panels, capable of providing a 40-mile range per day under optimal conditions. The vehicle's batteries offer an estimated 400-mile range. Equipped with three motors in the wheels, it can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 4 seconds and reach a top speed of 101 miles per hour. Its cockpit is reminiscent of a small Tesla, and the hatch provides 32 cubic feet of storage, similar to a large Tesla. However, just like in 2011, the company faced the challenge of needing substantial funds to bring the vehicle to market. To address this, the founders launched an accelerator program, essentially a Kickstarter campaign aimed at raising between $20 million and $50 million. This evolved into a reservation program for 2,000 launch edition Aptras, requiring a $10,000 deposit. Perks for contributors included a book on the design and production process and an Aptra accelerator jacket for those who invested $15,000. Previous investments amounting to more than $100 million did not count towards this new campaign. A fresh $10,000 investment was necessary for a reservation. Subsequent investments by a contributor would include all prior contributions. An investor from Maryland, for example, invested $10,500 to secure a spot at the top of the queue for AFTRA number one and has invested over $1 million in the company in total. The campaign concluded after a year, with 2,040 people investing nearly $34 million. This amount allowed the company to move into pre-production and validation testing and unlocked a $21.9 million grant from California's Solar Mobility Manufacturing Project. This grant is contingent on AFTRA purchasing $21.9 million in production equipment to manufacture the vehicle in California, after which the California Energy Commission will reimburse the amount. The company claims to be 60% of the way through equipment purchases, with production expected to commence in 12 months. However, given the company's history, 12 months could mean anything, including potential delays or failures. AFTRA has been transparent about needing additional funds post-pre-production to achieve scale manufacturing of retail vehicles, with an anticipated requirement of $50 million. If AFTRA can present a production-ready vehicle that meets its claims, the company's resilience and 46,000 reservations suggest that raising the necessary funds is feasible. For those interested in keeping track of progress, Steve Fambro recently uploaded a video update detailing the upcoming app, batteries, production process, and potential vehicle modifications to facilitate the transition to reality. Non-launch edition AFTRAs can still be reserved on their site, with prices starting at $25,900. Kia has teased the production version of its EV3 concept, set to debut globally on May 23. The production model closely resembles the concept, with minor changes such as different star map lighting, slightly altered headlights featuring horizontal elements, and modified taillights with vertical lines. The concept's four-spoke wheels might also make it to the production version. The interior of the EV3 concept, which includes innovative features like a sliding climate control panel, motorized air vents, and a movable center console, is expected to be carried over largely unchanged to the production model. The rear bench seat can flip up to accommodate tall items, similar to the Honda Fit's Magic Seats, and Kia is developing a vehicle-to-load charging system that could charge an e-bike in the back of the SUV. The EV3 is aimed at accessibility, suggesting a price range of $30,000 to $40,000, depending on battery size and motor configuration. The vehicle will likely come with Kia's smaller 58 kWh battery and 400V architecture, with the possibility of a 77.4 kWh pack. Tesla, the top EV seller in the US, had a challenging first quarter in 2024, producing significantly more vehicles than it delivered. Despite some analysts of dire predictions, Tesla is recovering by offering substantial discounts on the popular Model Y crossover to move unsold inventory. First quarter sales dropped by 8.5% globally, leading to discounts that make the Model Y affordable after federal tax credits. 
Sawyer Merritt, a prominent Tesla influencer, shared on social media that after the $7,500 credit, the Model Y RDD starts at $33,890, the long range at $37,490, and the performance at $40,690. While adding advanced driver aid features can increase the price significantly, buyers using Merritt's referral link could get three months of a full self-driving subscription for free. Tesla attributed part of its excess inventory to the increased production of the new Model 3 and downtime for factory reconfiguration. Additionally, a shutdown of its German factory contributed to the issue. Despite the production hiccups, the price cuts have made the Model Y one of the most affordable EVs available, potentially reinforcing its position as the best-selling electric vehicle globally. However, the demand for EVs is not growing as rapidly as anticipated, causing some legacy automakers like Ford and GM to reconsider their strategies, leaning more towards hybrids and plug-in hybrids. Lotus is gearing up to launch the electric SUV in the US, available in entry-level and R versions. Both feature a dual-motor setup powered by a 111.9 kWh battery and 800-volt architecture for fast charging. The base model produces 603 horsepower and 710 pound-feet of torque, achieving 0 to 62 mph in 4.5 seconds and a top speed of 160 miles per hour. The R version offers 905 horsepower and 985 pound-feet of torque, reaching 0 to 62 mph in 2.95 seconds with a top speed of 165 miles per hour. The Elytra includes high-end features such as an adaptive suspension, a key EF audio system, and an advanced driver assistance system powered by NVIDIA. The US will not get the mid-range Elytra S as luxury makers tend to offer high standard equipment levels for this market. The Elytra joins a competitive field including the Porsche Macan 4 EV, Maserati Grekel Fulgur, Audi Q8 Sportback e-tron, and Genesis Electrified GV70 among others. Each model offers a mix of luxury, performance, and tech features, setting the stage for interesting comparison tests in the near future. The Audi Q4 e-tron, although not receiving much attention, is a dedicated electric vehicle built on the MAB platform, shared with the ID4 and other VW electric models. This results in a high-quality, space-efficient interior with a spacious back seat and clever storage solutions. The driving experience is refined, characteristic of Audi, the 2024 Audi Q4 e-tron has received a mid-model year update with a new rear motor for improved thermal management and efficiency, increasing the total system output by 40 horsepower to 335 F for the Q4 55 e-tron, which now hits 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds. The updated Q4 55 e-tron offers an energetic driving experience with responsive steering and a taut suspension, making it feel sporty around town. However, its dynamics change when pushed harder, revealing its weight and stability control interventions. The vehicle's braking system, though improved, still feels long and gradual, and the ride can be choppy on highways, particularly with 21-inch wheels. The new motor pairs with an updated battery pack, maintaining an 82 kWh capacity but featuring improved chemistry and mineral content for faster charging speeds, up to 175 kW, and better range, up to 258 miles. The interior remains unchanged, retaining its high quality and functionality with an 11.6-inch touchscreen, climate control buttons, and excellent storage solutions. The Q4 e-tron starts at $56,395, with the Q4 55 e-tron going up to $65,290 with options. The rear-drive Q440 e-tron remains at $50,995 but lacks the updates of the Q4 55 e-tron. Tesla recently reduced the price of its full self-driving, FSD technology and offered a one-month free trial, but the conversion rate from trial to paid subscription was low. Only about 2% of the nearly 3,500 trial users signed up for a paid subscription, partly due to the system being labeled as an SAE Level 2 driving system, which falls short of fully autonomous driving. Tesla continues to face scrutiny over its autopilot system, with regulators seeking data on how its vehicles monitor driver attention and manage control issues. Tesla issued a recall to address some of these problems, but there have been at least 20 crashes involving post-recall vehicles. NHTSA has requested detailed information from Tesla on its autopilot system and its usage. The Volkswagen ID Buzz, a retro-inspired electric van, is set to reach U.S. showrooms as a 2025 model. This long wheelbase variant will be available in three trim levels, including a launch exclusive version. The ID Buzz, already available in Europe, is generating interest for its blend of nostalgic design and modern electric vehicle technology.
that's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.